Welcome to my kitchen. Guess who's here? Ricardo. I'm so lucky to be I'm with so you in your kitchen. With me. We're going it's to be cooking right. today. You're going to be cooking. Yeah. I'm going to be learning. What are you making? I, well, I want to make a great chocolate pudding cake in a slow cooker. That's because, the part I don't get yet. Well, you know what? It's made to do that okay. because it's a steam bath. And as any pudding, it wants to be moist. But I always think I don't want a slow cooker because it's slow. It doesn't matter if it's slow. What matters is you won't have to do nothing. Oh, I'll be doing other things. You do other things, you forget about it. It's there, it will stay on and warm. And you're really into this. Because I'm into this. Because you have a slow cooker that you've just come out with and you have a new cookbook yeah. called Slower is Better. Oh, well, you know, yes. that's what I've heard. Okay, so this chocolate pudding need a good chocolate sauce with okay. richness on, on the bottom of that Yum. cake. So this is what we'll start with. You have to watch for the ingredients because it. I have the memory of a chicken. I have I have the recipe. <laughs> okay. okay. Brown sugar, one cup. Light brown sugar. Then a quarter cup of cocoa, uh, cocoa. But I saw that you took out a little strainer and that's a very good idea. If there's any lumps there, you will have bitterness and you don't want that. And this is what we want to avoid. Oh. Okay. These little, you know, I didn't know that. pieces of chocolate. Okay. You want to, you just press it down, so that way it's all good. Two teaspoons of cornstarch. This is to thicken the sauce, actually. Two ounces. Mm -hmm. of Dark chocolate, sauce. a teaspoon of vanilla, and three quarter cup of water, plus the same amount of heavy cream. You have to stir it very well. And then we'll put it on the stove. You want to stir it constantly because it can burn very quickly. As soon as it starts to simmer, that's what we want. Bubbles. And this is where we turn off the heat source. We'll leave it there to stand for a couple of minutes and we'll take care of the batter. So here there's a quarter cup of butter, but first I want to mix all the dry ingredients. Okay. So there's half a cup of all-purpose flour. I'll add a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt. Oh, I forgot the cocoa. A quarter of a cup. A third of a cup of sugar. Give me the jaw, it's gonna get me sugar all over myself. <laughs> it has to be unsalted butter. And room temperature. It's very important, otherwise wow. it's never going to be like kind of creamy. When that is mixed, I just crack an egg there, and you go on. Then on low speed. You do it. Okay. <laughs> you get it all over you. <laughs> It's very important to actually mix the dry ingredients with the liquid, which is a quarter cup of milk, on low speed. Right. You don't want to develop gluten. Oh. It means it's going to be a tough cake. We have the sauce here, and we have our jars. Any jar like this will work. Put the sauce equally in all these jars. If you have an ice cream scoop like this, yeah. then you can take your batter and actually scoop the batter right on top. It doesn't matter if it sinks. Like that? Perfect. Oh, that looks good. It looks good already. Now it's time to actually cook our chocolate pudding. I love to use a cloth like this that I put in the bottom. You want an even cooking. You don't want your jars to bump. Rattle around. Rattle, exactly. I want to add cold water, half the jars. Cover, and in two hours, it will be able to stay on warm for an extra two hours. So it gives you four hours delay. So it's impossible that you stress with the dessert. Okay. There we fun. go, Linda. Okay, so either ice cream or whipped, whipped cream. cream. I'm a whipped cream girl. And you have to take your spoon and go deep to get that chocolate oh, sauce. So it's like a souffle. Look at this. Oh. All that oh, chocolate all that sauce. In there. That's great. It's gooey, it's good, it's warm. Mm. Don't burn yourself. Okay. Mm. 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 My guests will love this. And you know what? There's nothing like cooking for people you love. It's true. It could be a father for his children, you who entertain so many times in this house. There's something Thank great Thank you, Ricardo. There. You gotta try this. This Have is worth trying. Mm. Hope you'll come back. Oh, yeah. Mm.